Hi, I'm F Star King. And I'm Chris. Today we're going to talk to you about hydropower. Hydropower is harnessing energy from the movement of H2O, commonly known as water. It is one of the oldest forms of renewable energy and has been used for centuries. Hydropower is the most abundantly used form of renewable energy. Over 16% of all global electricity is generated from hydropower and it accounts for 97% of all renewable energy. Hydropower is really great because it relies on an energy source we will never run out of, gravity. Hydropower harnesses falling water and converts it into electricity. This is done by collecting water in large reservoirs and letting the water flow through a turbine, which powers a generator. A unique feature of hydropower is that it can be turned on and off to meet energy demands. The dams used to control the water simply need to open or close. This is an advantage over many other forms of renewable energy such as wind and solar because you can't control where and when the wind blows and where and when the sun shines. Hydropower does have a few downsides though. Building dams can have very negative effects on local environments and animal habitats. Also, while hydropower ends up being very cost efficient, building dams is very expensive making it difficult for underdeveloped countries to convert to hydropower. Despite its few disadvantages, hydropower is one of the fastest growing methods used for creating electricity. The United States has nearly 80,000 dams, yet only 24,000 of them have hydroelectric plants, meaning the U.S. has the capability of serving the electrical needs of 175 million people, up from the current 28 million. That's over half the population! Unfortunately, the U.S. government has only spent $10 million per year on hydropower in the last 10 years, compared to $1.2 billion on other forms of renewable energy. On the other hand, some countries have reached nearly their full hydropower potential, like Norway, who has cultivated nearly 100% of its hydroelectric capacity. Paraguay is another notable country because it gets 100% of its electricity from hydropower, as well as sharing with its neighbor Brazil. All in all, hydropower is pretty important but could soon face a new challenge that might seem unexpected, a shortage of water. It is commonly understood that water is a renewable form of energy that will never run out, right? Wrong. Fresh water is a resource that we could eventually run out of. Water consumption globally is growing at twice the rate of the world population, meaning an eventual water shortage is not out of the question. So now you're probably thinking hydropower just relies on water, not fresh water. You're right, but it's also a domino effect. A lack of fresh water resources creates the necessity for water from other sources that are currently being used for other purposes, like generating the greatest form of renewable energy that is hydropower. So now, if you're not an awful person and you don't hate the earth and the people living in it, you're probably wondering, what can I do to help? The answer is simple. Stop using so much f***ing water! He's right. Based on a poll of the students in our grade level, the average shower lasts about 17 minutes. At 3.8 gallons per minute, the average flow level of a standard shower head, that's 61.2 gallons. I know showers can be very relaxing, but so can lying in bed. So do the world a favor and shorten your shower. Another extremely helpful shower solution is converting to a low flow shower filter, which only uses about 2.3 gallons per minute. You can also get low flow faucet filters which greatly reduce excess water from the tap. There are many other simple habits you can make or break to help conserve water, like not leaving the water on while you brush your teeth. Or using a dishwasher as much as possible instead of hand washing dishes. It is estimated that one person can save over 1,000 gallons of water per day by simply making changes to what they eat, drink, and do. So do your best. What are you losers doing? Hey, get out of here. We don't want any trouble. Oh, looks like the fatty's scared of hey, us. Hey, which one? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, guys. We're just trying to explain hydropower and how people can conserve water. Hydropower? More like doofus power. <laughs> we got a much more badass form of energy. It's called nuclear power, bitches. Powered by uranium, bitches. Ooh, sounds interesting. Tell me more. Not. Yeah, why don't you guys just shut up? Ooh, KP's not gonna be happy when she hears that. But you know what? She is gonna be happy when we tell her all about nuclear energy. Come on, let's, let's show him who's boss. <laughs> now that those two fatties are finished bloviating about glorified slip and slides, Let's talk about something that produces lots and lots of energy. Nuclear power! That's right, Brandy. Nuclear power is one of the most efficient forms of energy production in the world today. Don't they break apart atoms and produce massive amounts of heat and steam? Indeed they do, Brandy. Indeed they do. In a nuclear reactor, an atom is split, causing the release of fissile isotopes and producing lots and lots of heat. 
So this heat must generate the steam needed to power the turbines that produce the energy. But where do they put the fuel for the fission re reaction? Excellent question, my lad. The fuel is located in rods that are suspended within a coolant located within the nuclear reactor. The most common fuel that they use in these nuclear reactors and rods is uranium-238. Lots and lots of energy. Wait a gosh darn minute! Uranium, that's radioactive! Won't that cause people to have babies with two hands and three arms? You simple Perry County pig farmer, nuclear energy is completely safe. Shut up! Perry County is a great place to live and raise a family. Except for the Perry County grass, man. But what about Chernobyl and Fukushima? I admit that accidents can happen and result in nuclear meltdowns, but it's very safe. In over 14,500 combined years of nuclear reactor use, there have only been three to five major accidents. There are also extensive safety measures in place to ensure that there is never a meltdown and that if there is a meltdown, radiation does not escape and harm the surrounding environment. Okay, but it's still radioactive, so it still has to be dangerous. Radioactive leakage is a minor concern, even for the people who work at nuclear power plants. The reactor is housed under layers of protective material that keeps radiation in, both during regular operation and in the case of a meltdown. Wow, maybe nuclear power isn't so bad after all. So there you have it, Bernie. That's nuclear power. It's really a great tool that the world can use to produce somewhat renewable energy at a low cost for consumers like me and you. Fascinating. Well, I don't think that could have been any more boring. Yeah, you had no wow factor. You really missed the entertaining part of educational entertaining. Oh yeah? What was so entertaining about yours? Uh, the part we were about to get to before you interrupted us. Hit it, F Star King! Warning, the following footage may be disturbing for some viewers. The scenes depicted do not represent the views of Bishop Rosecrans High School. Please mentally prepare yourself for what you are about to see if you choose to continue watching. Seriously, this is your last chance to press pause. Once it starts, it will not be stopped. Okay, here we go. Sloppy Shams, Easy E, 2012. Yeah, we back up in this nuclear power. It's attached to your rod, mother licker. I got the funk. Nuclear power, dropping bomb splitting atoms. Our turbines potential, I cannot even fathom. Bringing that power like Oppenheimer. We put them chap bastards on a timer. Busting them atoms, it sometimes happens. Our reactors run faster than the strongest of rapids. What's that? Are ze afraid of ze nuclear power? Oh shit, Germany. That's why you're not ze well superpower. All these hoes be trying to touch my fuel rods. And I say nah, bitch, I'm a radioactive god.